Where we left off in the last video, we were able to figure out the coordinates of all of the vertices for this face right here of the tetrahedron. And so now we can use those coordinates to figure out the coordinates of the center of that face, which is also one of the vertices of the smaller tetrahedron. And when we figure out that coordinate, then we can figure out the distance between that point and that point, or between this point and this point, and that will give us the length of one of the sides of the small tetrahedron. And then we can compare that to the length of the large tetrahedron and get this ratio right over here. So let's get the coordinates of that point or this point right over here. Let's get the coordinates of this thing. And to do that, we just have to take the average of the x, y, and z coordinates of the face of the vertices of the face. Now for x, you can see, hopefully, maybe you see that this is sitting on the y z axis. Actually, let me draw the z court the z axis here just for just for visualization. So z could go up like that, and then this would be the negative the negative z direction would be going down like that. So this is clearly lying on the z y plane, but even if you didn't see that, you could just you could just average the x you could just average the x points here. So we have negative one plus one plus zero over three, which is going to be zero over three. And then you could average the y points zero plus zero, zero plus zero plus square root of three over three, square root of three over three, all of that over three. And then you can average the z points. Let me do this in a different color. Average the z, 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0 plus 2 square roots of 2 over the square root of 3, all of that over, all of that over 3. Now this first coordinate right over here, clearly just 0. Second coordinate over here is going to be the square root of, this is the square root of 3 over 3. This was hard to read. Square root of 3 over 3 divided by 3, so it's the square root of 3 over 9. And then we have 2 times the square root of 2 over the square root of 3 divided by 3. So it's going to be 2 times the square root of 2 over 3 times the square root of 3. This right here are the coordinates for the center of this face, this coordinate right over here. Now using that, we can now find the distance between that point and that point. We already know that this point's coordinates. We already know the center of the base. We already know that right over here, so let's figure out Let's figure out this distance or this distance, the length of this a side of the smaller tetrahedron. So let's write it, let me do it over here. The a length of the side of a smaller tetrahedron squared is going to be our difference in x value squared. So this has an x value of zero, this has an x value of zero, so zero minus zero squared, plus the difference in y values, square root of three over nine minus square root of 3 over 3 minus square root of 3 over 3, just we have a common denominator. That's the same thing as 3 square roots of 3 over 9. I just wanted to rewrite it this way so that I have a common denominator squared plus plus 2 square roots of 2. It's getting messy because I'm plus 2 square roots of 2 over 3 square roots of 3 minus this guy's z coordinate. Well, this guy was on the xy plane, so it's minus 0 minus 0 squared. So this is going to be equal to, let me write it here. Let me scroll to the left a little bit so I have some space. So we have a length of the small of the small tetrahedron squared is going to be equal to, well, this is just going to be 0. This right here is negative 2 times the square root of 3 over 9 squared. So negative 2 times the square root of 3 over 9 squared is 4 times 3. Right, negative 2 times square root of 3 squared is going to be 4 times 3 over 9 squared, over 81, over 81. So we did that part right over here. Right? Yeah, we had negative 2 times square root of 3 over 9. You square that, you get this over here. So that turns into that. And then this term right over here, this is just going to be 2 root 2 over 3 root 3 squared. So it's going to be plus, so this is going to be 4 times 2 over 9 times over 9 times 3. Or another way of saying it, this is going to be equal to, let's see, what the numerator and denominator are divisible by 3. So this is the same thing as 4 over 27. So this first term is 4 over 27 plus we have over here 4 times 2 is 8 over 27, which is equal to 
which is the same thing as 12 over 27. You divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. This is equal to 4, 4 over 9. So the length of the small side squared, the length of a small side squared is equal to 4 over 9. You take the principal root on both sides, positive square root. We only care about positive values because we're talking about distances. So the length of one side is going to be equal to the square root of that, which is going to be 2 over 3. So this distance right here, or this length right here, is going to be 2 thirds. Or this length right here is going to be 2 thirds. So what's the ratio of a length of a big side to the length of a small side? So the length of a big side, we already figured out, the length of the big side is 2. This thing is 2. What's the length of a small side? Well, based on all the math we just did, it is 2 thirds. It is 2 thirds. Now, before we even cube it, we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. Actually, well, yeah, we can take the divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. So this becomes 1 to 1 third, which is, and 1 over 1 third is the same thing as 3. So 3 cubed is 27. This is, or I could write it as 27 to 1, since we want to write it as a ratio. So when you simplify all of this, you get 20. You, you, you really will just get 27, but if you want to express it as a ratio, it is 27 to 1, the volume of the big, big tetrahedron to the volume of the small. So that ratio is m over n. This is equal to m over n, where m and n are relatively prime positive integers. These are definitely relatively prime. Their only common factor is 1. Find m plus n. So 27 plus 1 is 28. So our answer is 28.